someone's real confused because you're unbothered. Hmm. This energy feels like you're already evolving because there is a wedge between the two. This energy feels like you are unbothered using your intuition and that's why you're no longer thinking about them or bothered. This is someone from your past. This energy is coming out as an ex. This could be someone you called a friend or someone you had a very close attachment to, but this is someone you had to cut ties with or separate yourself from because of how they chose to treat you. This is someone who ignored something. This energy ignored something by pretending it didn't exist or they didn't care. But I feel they only wasted valuable time. This is someone who knows that you're using your intuition and following your gut when it comes to new situations or a new beginning. This is why they feel there is a wedge between the two of you. But I also feel there is some somewhat of an interference. Hmm. This is someone who feels like they're ready for love. They regret ever catfishing you or being a lie. Playing games through trickery or fraud because this energy hates nothing about you. Yet this energy now feels like they have no chance because they will be rejected because you have no sympathy for their issues or their problems. Yet I feel this energy is still sitting in a space of indecision. They're unsure, still thinking about the possibilities. This energy is thinking about the past, the existing times, or some type of good news. But this energy feels like you're too comfortable with being single or without them. Wow. So I definitely feel someone regrets letting go. Someone regrets letting go because they were being immature about the way they chose to love you. This is someone who was being immature about love. And they're trying to figure it out when it comes to their trust issues, drama, and things that they have surrounded themselves with because they're frustrated. This energy is frustrated and wanting to start over. But they feel like they won't get any understanding from you because of all the drama that they caused. Now this energy is just trying to figure it out and regretting the fact that they just gave up on you. Gave up on something that should have lasted forever and they're pretty ticked off about it. This is someone who is now wanting to relocate but they feel like they've been in the skies for too long. Leaving something to mystery, now this energy believes they have unfinished business with you. This is someone who wants you to allow access, wants you to open up when it comes to affairs of the heart. But they feel like there's too many trust issues. This energy feels like there's too many trust issues and they were too immature about a situation to open up. Yet they know something should have lasted forever. Let's get some more energy here. Hold on, there. What is the message here? Whoa. Someone feels like you're gonna, they're going to get no sympathy from you. But this energy is thinking about the exciting times, the past. They regret playing games, being a player, or ignoring you. Because being immature about the situation didn't get them anywhere. Now this energy is wanting to come out of this state of confusion and have some type of good news with you, but they feel like you don't want to hear it or 
you won't have any sympathy for their problems or their issues. Hmm. Wow. This is someone who is having some time accepting something. Unsure about some indecisions, this energy may be sitting alone. Working overtime. Just trying to figure something out. This is someone who is trying to understand something when it comes to the drama they created. And as I said before, they're clearly frustrated about the fact that something isn't starting over. This is someone who knows they have to start over because where they left off with you was complete misery or a disaster. And they could be sitting in a space alone, bored, wanting to reach out to you. Yet I feel this is someone who feels powerless, feeling like there's a closed door when it comes to you, a closed door that they now want to be open. But I feel this is someone who doesn't want to chase. That they're feeling like, why me? Yet I feel this is someone who ghosted you. They're thinking about why they made these changes, why they didn't take advantage of the offer that you gave, the olive branch, and said they ignored you, played immature games, and ghosted you. Now they're thinking, why me? Because you're not giving them any sympathy. In fact, I feel you were very generous with this energy, yet I feel they still caused heartbreak. This energy caused heartbreak because they wanted to experience the unknown, possibly even a sneaky link. This is coming up as friends with benefits. This is not for everyone, but I feel this is someone who had a closed heart. Yet I feel when it comes to you, they know that you're special and that you're a gift. But something didn't work out. I feel like a conversation that took place didn't work the way that they thought. Now they're still completing or repeating cycles, having money issues and feeling locked up in a situation, regretting the fact that they gave up on you. Now they're trying to put, throw themselves into work or throw themselves into something that is going nowhere or still coming up short. And I feel like this is someone who regrets the fact of having no understanding when it comes to you. This is someone who didn't really have any compromise not really thinking from a clear space. This energy was only thinking about self. Let's get a couple of cards here from this deck. Holy Spirit, what is the message here? Message is here. Spirit, thank you. Holy Spirit, what is the message here? Message is here for the party. So for many of you, they're wondering what you're doing. But they're telling themselves something is all in their head. This is someone who is not wanting to live in the reality that they have created. This mess that exists in their life. And for some of you, they're intimidated by the connection they had with you. It was so, so strong. It was so intense. And they're all in their head about it. Feeling like you're doing fine without them. I definitely feel this is someone who knows they cause you a lot of pain and they're trying hard to forget, get over you, but they can't. They can't forget about all the times you were there for them or help them pull through, realizing they took something too far or they took you through too much. I feel like this is someone who took you through a lot just to become a stranger again. And they're wondering if you still think of them or miss them in any way. But I feel this energy is starting to think that won't be a chance. There's too much distance. There has been too much silence. Now they're thinking about the times from the past, but things have already changed. Hmm. Now I feel the hardest thing they're having to deal with every day is missing you. Which is starting to feel crazy for them because they don't know 
if you miss them too. This is someone who feels like it's all in their head and it's too much to deal with. And this is why they ignored you. But I feel them ignoring you only caused a wedge because they were unsure. Yet yeah, this energy is now understanding it was forever. <laughs> this energy knows that there's a strong connection here with you, but now there's too many differences because they wasted too much time. But this energy knows they treated you unfairly. This energy knows they treated you unfairly. But they can't find the words to admit something to you. They don't know how to admit their wrongs. Even when they know you're right. They feel like they were too naive or too young to deal with something. But they know they owe you an apology. This energy knows that they owe you something that is long overdue. But I feel this energy has just... Wasted too much time trying to put the pieces together. But I feel this energy, they can't get over you. This is someone who cares too much and also regrets caring too much about how others thought about them. And they know you're doing well without them. And you're done waiting. So they don't know if you've cut them off. Things are left with just a question. But this energy knows they're still affected deeply by the connection. This energy knows that they were affected deeply by the connection. And you are the key. The key to their happiness or the key to getting through whatever mess they have made. But I feel this energy just can't handle the rejection. So they're throwing themselves into work or into selfish pleasures. Selfish pleasures that will only leave them trapped and obligated. And they just need to offer a truth. A truth that they haven't spoken yet. Hmm. But I feel this energy is unable to even look themselves in the mirror. They're jealous, wanting to know that what you're up to and they know that you're leveling up in the process. This energy knows they wasted too much time. Now feeling that you no longer care, this energy is left with questions. Questions that they should have answered or questions they should have asked long before. Yet as I said before, they know they treated you unfairly, poorly, judged you without cause. Now this energy is feeling like they are the ones being judged. Let's get some more energy here, Holy Spirit. What is the message here for the collective energies? What are the cards here that best represent the message? Ooh, something's definitely complicated. <laughs> and it fell out. This energy feels like their life is too complicated. This is why they're stuck in a space where they don't know how to admit their wrongs. Now they feel like nothing is going right. I feel nothing is going right because they're going through a spiritual awakening or a spiritual change. I feel something is sacred going on in their life. And they're still working on something. They're thinking about the good times. And they're trying to remove a false mask. A false identity or how they've been moving lately. Hmm. Something is definitely a never-ending story. This is someone who is very tempted to their weaknesses and they're wanting to surrender and they're going through this spiritual awakening. But something is a never-ending situation and it's very complicated where there's layers or a lot of energies involved and they could be trying to keep something silent. This is an energy who has moments where they believe what they've been telling others and even what they've been telling themselves. And they're trying to believe that they're over you. Yet, it only leads to tears. Tears in uncomfortable spaces. Knowing that they didn't do the right thing by you. Because even though they know they want you to take them back, they know they don't deserve it. Because of how... Fate 
and false they were. Now this energy is wanting to reach out or wanting to make some type of changes, but something runs deep. And deep down, they know they wouldn't choose themselves either. Not after the things they have done to you yet. The only reasons why they can't let go or even reach out is because of the changes they know they have to make. And even though it makes them sad that they're not in contact with you, they know they have to surrender. This energy knows they have to reach out or surrender in the right way. And they're trying to figure something out because this energy knows that thinking of you and not having you completely makes them miserable. This is someone who knows that they are sad because it's the connection that has been lost hmm. or how they treated you in the process. This energy knows they were being false and they're trying to figure out a way to come back into your energy. They're just trying to figure out if you feel the same. If the offer that they are wanting to give you would even be accepted. As I said before, what they're going through completely makes them miserable. They're sad. But I feel this energy is still not letting go of something. They're still not letting go because... What is making them sad is also the one thing that makes them happy. I feel like it hurts like hell knowing they need you. But they also feel they have to let something go, but can't. Because deep down, they're still waiting on the impossible to happen. But it's even harder to give up when you feel like something more can happen. This energy feels like something can happen here. They feel like it's impossible to give up because it's everything they want. This is someone who wants to go on a journey. They know they are on this journey by themselves. They want to recover what they feel they have lost with you, but they feel like they're powerless. This energy feels like they are powerless to their own temptations. And they feel like time is already up. But I feel these are the lies that they try to tell themselves just so they can try to get over you. Won't be as easy as it seems. This energy feels like it's time's up. This energy feels like they're going through a love drought. And I feel like they're on a mission to try to make it up to you. Yeah, I feel this energy is still sitting in a puddle of their own self-pity. Not giving in to something that they know they need to change. I feel this energy already knows their secrets are already unraveling. But as I said before, something definitely runs deep when it comes to their scars or unhealed pain or even poor judgment. Because this is not the typical love story or connection. Yet I feel this energy is ready to release a love block when it comes to a twin flame energy. Uh, there is devotion. This energy wants to heal a heartbreak with you. But I also feel there is fears and anxieties. This energy is going through a lot of pain. Whether that is pain re that is connected to you or that has nothing to do with you at all. They're struggling through it. They're struggling to overcome self-imposed limitations or beliefs. But I still feel this energy is still wanting to reconcile with you. But this energy is still dealing with, with a lot of karma. The fact that they're still trying to remove a mask. And even the fact that they're trying to accept some changes. There's a lot of karma flowing throughout their life. And they know the truth will set them free. Yet I feel they know they have to work their way from the bottom to start again. Now this energy is choosing the right path. Someone is 
having a change of heart, wanting to choose the right path, yet I feel this path has a very long journey. A long journey because they don't want to say goodbye, but I feel there are still some things from the past that they need to release. Hmm. But I feel there's a lot of guilt for the past actions and behaviors and the web of lies that they created. And they're still sitting in a space of hidden energy because they're going through a dark night of the soul. Still lurking, still wondering, and still reminiscing when it comes to you. This is someone who wants to change. Who wants to mirror the love that you gave or the help that you offered. But they're still going through some things because of their poor judgment. Things are still unraveling and things are still complicated. Things are still complicated and this energy is still wallowing in their own energy or their self-pity. Feeling powerless to change, but this energy needs to move with intention to get what they want or what they feel they need to receive. Let's get a little bit more energy here. So for many of you, things are complicated and they're still trying to remove a mask. They're thinking about the past and the old times, but they feel like something is too drawn out. Something is possibly too late. You know, I feel something is still sacred when it comes to a few of you. They know they took advantage of the resources. They shouldn't have played played something out knowing they were never ready for change so they may be trying to sit in a space where they're ignoring you or what they have with you pretending you don't exist but deep down they know they know it was never supposed to end never like this they know that it was never supposed to end the way that it ended with you now they're trying to self-medicate Hmm. slacking off at work but wanting to throw themselves into something they are lost or drained with energy feeling like they should have never been an accessory in a situation now they're looking older than what they really are having some type of disorder when it comes to their gut what they're choosing to eat something is in or in disorder when it comes to their digestive system. This is someone who could be yo-yo diet dieting, trying to resolve an issue. Bottom of the deck energy is acting like you're a stranger, pretending that they don't like you, pretending they don't want you. But I feel this is only so they don't have to think about you. For many of you, you feel like they're faking sympathy because of this outside energies or wanting to play a game or be boastful about something, but they don't want to admit something when it comes to their feelings, their emotions, or their actions, or even the fact that they're always thinking about you. They won't admit it, but they're still attached to it. Acting like their feelings don't exist Regretting the fact that they pretended to have too many options, now they feel cuffed to something because you are very unselfish when giving to them. This is someone who now possibly needs your help or wants to connect again. Hmm. But you feel like this energy was too superficial when sabotaging something with you. You feel like this energy could have cared less because they didn't get caught, but even if this energy didn't get caught, doesn't mean they don't have to pay for their their actions because there are consequences. This is someone who is trying to get their act together, trying to keep this playful mood, trying to be goofy about a situation when low key, they were hating on you. Now they regret hating on the connection they have with you because it's something they missed, but they were being too big headed about a situation. Something that they now feel you see as unforgiving. Because you see it as a personal attack. All the things that they tried to do to you or all the things they knew would break your heart. Disappoint you. Mislead you. If this energy thought that they were going to get away with something strategically, yet they failed. This is someone who failed miserably. 
trying to stick to the script trying to stick to the script and live in some type of fantasy this energy only filtered chaos and misery now this energy is coming out as a ticking time bomb frustrated distracted wanting to overcome being dumped or a breakup or something that is making them feel rejected but this energy has very bad time management because they can't see the bigger picture when it comes to change this is someone who is faking pretending to be cooler than who they are or wanting to appease others this is someone who is making the wrong moves for many of you this is someone who is acting fake for clout they wish they would have removed this mask sooner but they were too vain too vain to do so instead they were being ratchet or lawless with their energy low class yet I feel they got nothing to show for it because of their bad company or the things they chose to do to cope now they feel like something or someone is dead weight even their energy as I said before this is someone who knows they want to reach out but they feel that you wouldn't want their energy and neither would they this energy feels like they would choose them themselves because they know that they are dead weight heavy to carry because of all of their burdens now this energy has tunnel vision when it comes to you as I said before this is someone who's on a mission to make it up to you yet I feel this energy is stressed out on what to do this energy is aching there's headaches there's a lot of stress when it comes to affairs of the heart and even those that they have surrounded themselves with because there's no love yet I feel this energy always has love for you this is something that they think about this is something that they reflect on because something has ended in a very harsh way now they're thinking about what to do when it comes to love when you have done something final or unapologetically I feel like this is someone who is very guarded about their phone or access to their heart keeping secrets close even being cruel about it in some type of way when they were disregarding your emotions or your feelings while they were pretending not to care this is someone who is trying to put you in a box or place their emotions in a box and it's not working because they sabotage something with you and they're also sabotaging something around them. This could be work, this could be friendships or connections. Please take it how it resonates, but this energy is now feeling second best because of their petty games. I feel like their personal connections are also falling through. This energy is lacking identity and feeling very touchy about their feelings, wanting to vindicate themselves. This energy is wanting to come out of this cursed way of feeling, but this energy needs to do something intentionally. As I said before, this energy is wanting to get out of this distracted ways of being big headed and they're on a mission. They're focused. But I feel there's also a lot of distractions and they may end up embellishing a story. Trying to make up something to make themselves look better or not to see, not to look as weak as they are or as stubborn as they are. This energy may be telling false truths just so that you can look at them in a different way. Yet I feel if this energy had the heart or the courage, they would just tell you the honest truth. Yeah, I feel this energy is having a hard time doing that because they know if telling you the truth is the only way back, they're going to have to be clear. They're going to have to be authentic. And they're just wondering if, if they can do that. Let's get some more energy here, Holy Spirit. What is the message here with the collective energies? This energy regrets. This energy regrets giving into the streets. Wow telling lies, people pleasing, or seeking pleasures. Now they could be facing unemployment after playing games at work or putting too much energy into work. This energy now feels drained and now something is lacking. Masculine energy coming out as being distracted, wanting to break free from something, 
and they're tired. This energy is tired, yet I feel what goes around definitely comes around. And whatever this energy is throwing is definitely about to come back to them. Now this energy, now they're hesitant. Hesitant to move on their promises or on the past deceptions. They're trying to move forward from something, but they feel like something is always holding them back. There's no growth. There's no progress. There's no abundance. Something is off. Something is off and they don't know why. I feel like this is someone who is hesitant to move on because moving on would mean accepting their fate. Accepting the fact that the both of you are not strangers. This is someone who doesn't want to accept the fate of being strangers with you and would rather be heartbroken and lost hmm. than to truly forget you. Because all they want is another chance to just get it right. But they feel like they've already lost their chance. Lost their chance or even lost their way. This is someone who feels like you're too tired to look back or you're too withdrawn because they're in and out and possibly having toxic ways is just too much. So for many of you, I feel like you could be moving in silence from someone who is a professional ghoster. Someone who now feels they're caught in the matrix, caught in their own web of lies, their own criminal past. Now this energy is feeling like a loser because people see them as a criminal or as a heartbreaker and they're looking to do better. They're looking to say they're sorry, but this energy is paranoid about the fact that you won't see or hear what they have to say. They feel like they won't under you won't understand because of their false energy or the fact that they tried to swindle something from you. Hmm. Now they regret pointing fingers or being jealous or wanting revenge or just being all about the money because now this energy is OCD about you. They regret being stubborn or trying to have their way because now they're around energies they'd rather be without. Pinching pennies, trying to figure it out. They regret um, not breaking bread with you, being stingy or just being self-centered, all about self, not breaking bread or being two-faced. Now they're envious about your come up or the fact that you're unbothered when they should have looked at something closer. Because if they would have looked at something closer, they would have found the truth and your true worth. <sighs> Yet I feel this energy needed more time to put the pieces together. Yeah, I definitely feel you're tired of all of the gains and the lies and this energy is definitely regretting something that they gave up. This could be employment, finances, or their connection with you, but they also lit the flame and gaslighted you, causing some relationship issues now they feel like their abundance is scarce. Things are different without you. They feel like you look at them as risky business. Too much to handle. Because this energy tried to demoralize you. Try to make you feel some type of way. Now you're focused on self or the new you. And this energy is panicking because you're losing interest or you're already lost. They regret the grudge they were holding, the secrets that they were keeping, or the fact that there was a love-hate relationship. But I feel this energy really only has love. This energy is choosing love over hate. But they feel like there's too many issues. They're feeling like they're going crazy. Now that you have turned your back or given up, this energy feels like they're lost without you. This energy feels lost without you. And so... So many ways. 
But I feel you have turned your back with no regrets. No regrets at all. Because this is someone who made you feel vulnerable. Or exposed. Even gullible for some of you. Please take it how it resonates. But this energy tried to assassinate your character. Through betrayals, lies, secrets, doubt. And now they're the ones sitting in misery. Sitting in misery, feeling insecure, and knowing that you are the missing piece. I feel whatever you have said or whatever you have done was on target here because it's just repeating and replaying over and over in their mind. Now they're in regret about the lies because they know they should have just told the truth. This energy knows they should have just told the truth instead of playing the mind games because with all the hate, all the lies, all the bad energy was just returned to sender. Now this energy is feeling weird for being fake because this fake energy is something that they have to keep going. Now they feel like they're in crisis for being a groupie or attaching themselves to some. Now they're stressed because they can't finesse this finesse their way out of a situation yet I feel this energy needs to curb their ego or seek professional help because they hate their giving or getting is I feel it's just going too far there's no abundance and this energy feels like you're too focused on self to even give a damn but for many of you this energy is coming out as a risk because they're still dealing with some harsh realities some very harsh realities when it comes to life, love, and how to give. Let's get a little bit more energy here. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. So let's jump into the energy here, you guys. Holy Spirit, what is the message here for the collective energies? There's a lot of drama. They cause a lot of drama through a lot of hate, petty ways. I feel you stand, you stood your ground. Hmm. Because you already know what's up. This is someone who now feels you have a sense of caution when it comes to you. And they could be trying to burn the evidence of the past, not wanting to talk about it, not wanting to breathe about it because they know the damage that it will do. This is the very reason they were trying to ride something out hoping that you forget about the things that they said or the things that they did to you. But I feel you're standing in your power or in your energy. And I feel you're doing it very strong here. I feel like you're standing your ground. And many of you are ready for battle because the words that they are breathing may not even be true. But I feel you already know what's up. You know the tea. And whatever this energy is trying to say or do in a false way just won't get over on you because something has already expired. Something is already old news. Something is outdated when it comes to their abusive ways or the fact that they are somewhat unauthentic when it comes to an apology. But for many of you, something has changed about their energy. They want out. They want out of this energy of being hated by you or being sick at best. Yet, there's still a sense of caution. Because you may not believe them. Not like you used to. This is someone who feels you just don't want to hear it. Because even if you don't know the true facts, you already know how deep this rabbit hole goes. And it's not something you want to hear or even believe at times. But um, it is the truth. Yet, I feel so many things, so, so many things... So many things here that you don't know, they're holding back and they're not sure if they should reveal it because they feel like it's only going to cause more relationship issues, but they need to speak out if they ever want to clear something out with you. Now things are outdated and things are not going as planned and they're trying to do something better to get things right, but it's going to be a long journey here if they're ever planning to ever have your attention again. I feel coming back with lies and deception isn't the way. But I feel for many of you, someone's finally starting to get it right. 
For many of you, this is an energy who has already made it clear that they're not going anywhere. And I also feel they have shown you they're not wrapped tight either. But I feel, <laughs> but I feel they're always thinking of you. I feel there will always be a part of them that's also stuck on you. Because in the back of their minds, there's still somewhat of a possibility. They feel like it's still a possibility as you are the first to get them to reveal what is unfamiliar in their heart or their soul. And they feel it may be the reason no one else may get that again. This energy feels like no one else would ever see that part of them again, not without you, because truth be told, this energy feels like if they had the chance, they would be with you and no one else. This is someone who has a very harsh way of showing how they feel, but this energy feels like they're going to have to do something to get you to see them for what it is or who they are now instead of who they used to be. This energy knows they were a clown, yet this energy wants to let you know they're tired and over the games. But I feel it sucks. It sucks when they are now realizing and under the understanding that you've changed. And they feel like the only thing they know would make them feel better is you. The only thing that, that would make them feel better is the very thing that is making them emotional and tearing them apart. As the one person who gave them the best memories have now become a memory. Now this energy regrets putting you in the energy of being over them, over their drama, over their behaviors, and they feel like they've missed their last opportunity or chance because of their bad decisions and bad behaviors. Yet this energy is wanting to make something right. This energy wants to make something right when it comes to the choices that they have made in the past. Because this energy still has love for you. But this energy needs to get rid of the fake friends. To actually, in my opinion, to show this love. Because without showing that love to you, this energy needs to know it may be a lost cause. Especially when it comes to a broken contract or a separation. Yet this energy feels like you're too chill about something. You're too chill and they're sick and depressed about it. Trying to cope in every way this energy knows they did too much. There was too much drama. There was too much pain. Now this energy regrets getting caught because now this energy is wanting to be admitted back into your life. Yet they're thinking about all their toxic ways and they feel like you haven't forgot about it either. Now they're wishing they kept their promise, their promise or their commitment to you and the foundation that you have. But now they're wanting to announce something when it comes to running away from you. This is someone who knows they were spoiled, knows they were a brat about something, but now they're understanding and seeing the real between the fake salt, between the sugar and the fact that they were insecure. And that's why they hurt you. That's why they played these games, thinking you would play, yet this energy is sitting in envy and shame because the game is over. This is someone who regrets not giving in to the family ties, stop giving in to those who never really mattered in their life. They regret not giving in to family, not giving in to time, because something has definitely hit a peak. Something is exploding or up in flames. This is someone who is brainstorming. Brainstorming when it comes to whatever has gone up in pieces, and they're wanting to set the record straight. They're wanting to talk about it, because as I said before, they hate nothing about you. Yet I feel the hate that they have is only for self. 
Now this energy knows they screwed up. They know they screwed up because you're not wanting to give in. You're not wanting to talk to them. Yet this energy is wanting to vent about it. This is someone who is wanting to vent. Their anger, their fears, their tears, or the fact that they were putting on a show. But now I sense this energy is all in their feelings, all in their emotions because you kicked them out or you have distanced yourself from them. Now this energy feels it's all falling apart. This is someone who feels it's all falling apart because of how they try to orchestrate something, manipulate something through lies and strong ties through things that never really meant anything. There was no strong ties within this situation and now this energy is learning that out the hard way, especially when it comes to a fake apology that they gave to you. Because now this energy is sick about it because that is the moment they could have told the truth and given what you deserved. Now this energy believes or feels that you are protecting yourself from them. This energy feels that you are protecting yourself, but I feel it's the very moments in time right now that they are needing to spiritually protect themselves as well. Let go of false energies or things that they, they need to let go of, yet I feel they're needing to clear their energy, but they're too distracted, upset, and lost to see a truth. This is someone who wants to reconnect. They're wanting to make a change, but something is definitely overcoming or very distracting. And they know they destroyed something special with you. They just don't know how to rebuild it. Yet I feel this nightmare that they are living has become just too much. This is someone who wants to check themselves, but they know the game is over. They now realize you are a diamond in the rough. But I feel you aligning yourself or focusing on yourself is the reason why they feel there will be no change. They feel like you've leveled up in a way that they can't reach out. All because of their betrayals and lives, things have definitely changed. For many of you, this is someone who is sitting in this space because they feel like there won't be another chance, like you won't see them for who they are. Hmm. But as I said before, if they had the chance to be with anyone, it would be with you. This is someone who doesn't want you to become a memory, but their betrayals, their lies have become too much. They destroy something very special with you, and even you don't even believe it would ever truly be the same because something has changed within your heart, especially when it comes to their secrets, their lies, their consistent behaviors, because you don't believe the things that you used to hear. Not anymore. This is why they're upset, emotional, crying, because you're protecting yourself. And they feel like they're kicked to the curb. They wish they never put on this show because now they're very emotional about the way things are going or the way things have been. And they're angry. They're trying to put the pieces together and they're not trying to show it. But they want to vent about it. They want to talk about it. And they want to tell you the truth about how they feel. Because this is someone who has some very, very strong emotions when it comes to you. Wow. But I feel the hardest part wasn't saying goodbye or separating yet. It was learning that they may have to live without you. Now they're stuck with trying to fill a void or the emptiness left in their heart or in their life. Because I feel like this energy, I feel like they truly misses you. They miss you a lot. They miss the bond. They miss the family. They miss something that cannot be bought, cannot be replaced, not so easily. More than you know. But now they're thinking. Thinking they may have to try and accept the fact that things have changed. Hmm. This is someone who may need to realize certain things will never be the same. Not the way that it used to be. Yet, it's hard. It's hard for them to get over you, especially after all that you've done. You've done so much. Knowing that there's so much that needs to be said. There's so much unfinished business and unfinished conversations between the two of you. And they wish you would just message them so they'd have a reason to reach back out. Hoping you would just 
say how you're doing and the rest is history yet it's starting to become clear that they don't even cross your mind your heart is different yet you never you never left they did now they wish they never left i feel like this is someone who feels they don't even cross your mind not even a little bit anymore but as i said before this is someone who feels you will never leave theirs. You will never leave their thought process. In fact, I feel for most of you, they wake up in the morning thinking of you. They can't accept the changes, but I feel they have no choice until you choose to open back the door or open your heart to them. They're, they're gonna have to sit in these changes as well as their consequences. Now they regret risking it all risking it all for nothing in return because what took place with you is starting to eat away at them as they sit in regret while living out their consequences. I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading and